I think you're not. How we know now? You got any questions? No. Oh, okay. How about you, Fedora? Do you have any questions? Dora, do you have any questions? Hmm, any questions? No. Don't have. Oh, you know now I can see your brother at the back. Okay, for the two of you at home, can you just go back to this particular worksheet I gave? Oh, yes, your homework. Have you finished it? Okay, no, child, okay. I left with the, the second, the, the, the other one, the, the bottom one. Ah, uh, all right. Oops. How about you, Sidora? Have you finished your homework? She, she also left with the bottom one. Oh, okay. Good, huh? So the both of you are doing it together. Yeah. Oh, we can look out for those errors or small, small things. Nothing major. Uh, yes, can you just, uh, those at home as well, take out the worksheet. I realized that I haven't finished the one particular one, which was even two weeks ago, this one here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so yeah, get ready this one. I just want to finish this up because uh, it's relatively simple. It's supposed to test your concepts. Nothing, I would say nothing difficult. The only thing you do this one, we haven't finished. That was four months. Oh, no. Uh, actually, it, it is maybe about two weeks back. Okay, come. We know that you, you will start first. This should be quite easy. What the what the few red readings? Final, initial, and volume. Yeah, she's finding her worksheet. Oh, okay. The yeah. wait. Final is thirty seven point one. Thirty seven point one. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, guys. Can I define everyone? Sure. Oh, the... one zero. Yes, good. Two decimal places, huh? Uh, initial, you know, huh? Uh, twelve point five zero. Okay. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. So my friend. Twelve point five zero. Twelve point five zero. Okay, and the volume of liquid. Uh, twenty four point six zero. Twenty four point six zero. Okay. Yeah. I think I have no argument against those values. So please check against your own answers. Now, we know now, why is it good practice to repeat uh, the titration? Um, to get a more accurate result. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know, your school does it mention the difference between accuracy and precision? Yes. Yes, we know now, does it? Yeah. Mm. So, is it more for accuracy or for precision? Of position. Position, huh? All right. To get a more so, precise result. So, is it possible for them to ask the difference between accuracy and precision in exam? Is it this possible? Though I hardly see this kind of question, or hardly, or only some schools you ask it. Because I remember they taught they taught us in secondary one or two. Then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. It's, uh, I, I have to admit that most schools will not ask precision and accuracy in upper set. I've seen it only one or two times, one or two schools doing it over so many years. So it's not a common question, but well, you're supposed to expect it to know the difference. Now, again, you may have forgotten this. Basically, is to minimize your random errors. Versus systematic errors. All right, systematic errors are really difficult to, I would say, eliminate or even identify. Okay, so. This is more for minimizing random errors. Okay, next one. Relative problem of mass. I think this one should be quite easy. I, I'll just give you the answers, but make sure you really get it because you, are, you can't afford not to know how to calculate all this. 189 and 58.5. But if you really have issues a bit, yes, you have to voice up. It's since they're coming. No. They're not coming today. Calculate the mass of 0.2 moles of zinc nitrate. Okay, this one shouldn't be a problem. Thinking what you get? Uh, 37.8. Hmm? All right, you should get 37.8, huh?
Now, likewise, for part C, identify the uh, acid and the base. I think I've given you the answers previously, they're right here. Mm, let me see what else. Part B, just enough acid to react exactly with all the base. What's the pH of the solution from the end? Yeah, mm -hmm. Seven. Yes. Which is neutral pH. And of course, by the way, which is why they call this reaction neutralization. Because you produce a neutral product, which is salt and water only. Now, of course, if you go for that, it's not entirely true, but for now, this should be enough. Now, let me move on. Okay, ion, which makes hydrochloric acid acidic. Ah, yes, Fedora, 6A. Fedora. Yep, sorry, I didn't hear that. Sorry. Uh, H plus. Mm -hmm. But B, Fedora. Oh, H minus. Mm -hmm. Then you must just talk about part C. Neutralization. Okay, too easy. And part two. Sodium chloride. Okay, oh, by the way, reminder to everyone, they use the word name. So you have to write the full name. Don't just mm -hmm. say that if they say name, you have to write the chemical formula. But then ah, if, they say state, if they say state, you can either write chemical formula. Oh, no, no. If they say name, you have to write the name of the chemical. But then if they say state, you have to, you can either write the chemical formula or write the name. Yes. Okay. Thanks for sharing. So in this case, they mentioned state. I mean, sorry, you mentioned name. Write the full name. Okay. Chemical equation. Let me just quickly write up when you go through it. No one should get this wrong. Huh? But just to be sure, even though they didn't mention this, it's always good to write state symbols. Uh, Fedora, state symbol. Um, for the NaOH is AQ. Good. HCl also AQ. Good. Um, NaCl is AQ. Good. Because it's a soluble salt. H2O is L. Yes. Okay, nobody should get this wrong. Huh? All right, so uh, questions please ask. It's not like a must one. Now let's go to the other worksheet on the bonding and structure. Okay, this one here, I'm supposed to go through the MCQ here. Yeah, I'm still getting some property facts. Oh, yeah, the two of you at home, yes, check out this particular worksheet. Okay, good. Total 15 questions. All right, so for one to five, I'll start with Inona. Six to 10, Fedora. 11 to 15, and the main thing. How got it, missing? Or I think somewhere. Wait, what do you say? Uh, okay, so this MCQ has 15 questions, one five. So I will get the answers from Vinona for one to five. 
Nora for 6 to 10, Ninking for 11 to 15. That's me, six. Oh, oh that's me. Yeah, that one. Okay, come, let's start. We know now, number one. A. Okay, Ninking, shop. Oh, of course, girl at home, they mark themselves, right? Mm. But just a highlight in case you don't notice inside ammonia is NH4 plus. This is the one that contains your covalent bonds. It's important for all levels, you don't have to draw like this, but well, that is what is happening. Okay, so the covalent bonds are here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, number two, we know now. So what to do in number two? Oh, how to do number two? Right? Yeah. Okay, how many, how many electrons in the outer shell are not involved in bonding? Now, my suggestion is to draw the dot cross diagram. So if you draw it properly, you will get something like this. I'm only drawing the valence shell, of course. So the safest way, draw your dot cross diagram. And they ask for not involved in bonding. Phosphorus, huh? this is bonding, this is bonded, this is bonded. So the only one not bonded will be this pair. Okay? And they ask for outer shell. So two of them are not bonded. You know that, okay? Yeah. Now, uh, oh, number three, somehow I think I've given you the answer previously. <laughs> so aluminum oxide. How about number four, we know that. Uh, uh, C. Yeah, okay, shouldn't be a problem unless, I mean, if you have a problem, please just voice up. Otherwise, I shall move on. Number five, we know now. I got options or not? Options are uh? oh you are looking at the screen uh? <laughs> uh, yeah. if I show, if I, show I don't the have option, I don't have the I don't have the machine. Oh you should go to your telegram group chat it is there from last week. They might ask me thing for this meeting what's the answer? A A yeah. Yes. Okay, actually, in this case, I mean, you need to work this out. It's referring to Cl chlorine, right? Because if you look carefully, chlorine actually has, it starts with 2, 8, 7, all right? But once it bonds to carbon, then if you include the shared electrons, it becomes 2, 8, 8. Okay, so it has three shells, not two shells. I know it's quite tricky. You, you really have to work this up. Six is D, seven is C, eight is C. Okay. Hmm? You're not muted. <laughs> uh, okay. Fedora, very fast. Uh, can you repeat six is? Fedora, can you repeat? D. Mm -hmm. D, yeah. Uh -huh. Seven, I think I've given you last time. C. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Hey, I believe I given you last time also. See. Wait, question one. Yeah. Question one is given already. I'm going through six, seven, eight now. Oh, it's C. Uh. I thought it was D. Too. For which question? Question eight. Eight. Uh. Hmm. Mm. Yeah, I, I saw that I saw the thing and I thought it was the Oh okay. I think you were just careless. Come if you draw this up using your dot cross diagram. Okay, carbon four electrons. Sulfur six. Okay, so if you look carefully now, everyone, carbon and sulfur, they each have eight valence electrons, so everyone is happy now. And therefore, try to remember this because this involves a double bond. Thinking you two, all right, you mm -hmm. should realize it's a double bond, double bond, double bond. Can Fedora? Sure. Let me see. Uh, can I assume no other questions? Uh, otherwise, I shall go on. No other yes. questions. No other questions. Okay, great. Uh, Fedora, 9 and 10? A and B. Mm -hmm. Okay, number nine is D for dot, huh? Uh, why? No, look at A. I think you just now you use the answer A. Same thing. The best is to draw the dot cross diagram. So oh, F. So I, I, I realize already. Oh, you realize that? Huh? Yeah. Okay, then that's fine. How about ten? Ten? Is it okay? Oh, yeah, actually, it's okay. I, I okay, yeah. Uh, okay, last time. I need ten. Hmm? I need ten. You need ten. <laughs> okay, come. Uh, is requesting for ten, so I just quickly go through. Now look at the cat ion. Uh, positive ion is cat ion. So negative ion is n ion. So surrounded by eight. Each negative is surrounded by. Oh. Okay, so that means, mm, okay, that means I have more N ions than cat ions. Okay, I repeat, each cat ion has is linked to A. N ions. Whereas each N ion is linked to four K ions. Okay, so it's four is to eight, no? Right? You have four N ions and K ions, so the ratio is four is to eight. And therefore, once you know this, my K ion is X or Z. Uh, Okay, whatever, cat ion is 4, n ion is 8. So, of course, you want to reduce it to simple number, so that would be CA2. Okay, so see something like this. Of course, just to confirm, right? Make sure your Y is the cat ion and Z is the N ion as given in the table.
Okay, Okay, which of the property of the molecules is the most influence on the energy required to boil a covalent liquid? Yes, guys, covalent compounds, you are interested in the IMF. Okay. Forces of attraction between molecules refer to IMF. So please do not forget this term. Anytime you have a change of state, you are actually doing something to the IMF. You are not doing anything to the covalent bonds. Chelf, you think? A. Okay, good. Okay, uh, Fedora, we know now. I mean, I can't see your expression that well, but like, if you have questions, please voice up. Huh? Okay, oh, by the way, I can't remember whether I said this before, but can you guys also take note there's such a thing as triple bond? Okay, triple covalent bond. And the best example is N2. Uh, it, it obviously has come up many times, N2. And of course, O2 is a double covalent bond. Now, the other guy that they like to ask about is this one, CO2. Okay, so try to remember CO2 is two double bonds. But my suggestion uh, at least remember these three guys N2, O2, and CO2. Now look at the third. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's D. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a look. We have hydrogen, oxygen, magnesium, and sodium. Why do you call the Q2? This is nitrogen. What are the identities for Q, X, Y, and Z? Hmm. Uh, guys, uh, it helps a lot uh, if you have some uh, remembrance of the various compounds. How their formulas look like. Anything? NZ3, what does NZ3 look like? Mm. Yeah. Does it look like what do you mean? NZ3, it looks like which compound or which substance? Does it look like any particular formula? It is. Okay, can I, I tell you that. <laughs> no. If I see something like this, uh, you know what's the thing that first comes to mind? Ammonia. Because you don't know what is Q, X, Y, and Z. The only thing that you know is N. N is nitrogen, so nothing new there. But if I see something like NQ2, hmm, well, it definitely looks like NO2. All right, which is another compound you should remember sooner or later. But the way this called nitrogen dioxide. Oh, by the way, you need to know uh, it's going to come up sooner or later. This is of course ammonium. No, the others are a bit trickier. So how about this? Is this X3N? Hmm, to put X in front, likelihood X is a matter. And the best method will be sodium. All right, because sodium has a single charge. Whereas nitrogen, if its charge is three minus. Okay, so therefore you get this particular formula. And Three and thinking what's the name of this guy? Sodium nitrate. Okay, it's called sodium nitrate. Oh, nitrate. There is no oxygen inside, so it's simply nitrate. Oh, oh of course, N3 minus is the nitrate ion. 
Okay, guys, just a quick, quick, very quick run through. Uh, um, unfortunately, for chemistry, you need some memory work. It, it's not like the physics where you don't need that much. So make sure you're familiar with these ions. NO3 minus is nitrate. NO2 minus is nitrite. And notice the slight difference in spelling. Okay, likewise, I mean, I'm just only giving you the common ones. The other common one is, of course, SO4. This is, of course, sulfate. Now, you can also see this SO3, also 2 minus, is called sulfate. And most likely you see this also. This is sulfide, but note the difference in spelling. Okay, I, I, I shouldn't go on this that much. Okay, last one. How about this one? Your Y3. And two. Here, I think since Y is in front, I think that gives you a big clue already. <clears throat> so Y is likely to be matter. And the only matter left is the magnesium. Again, I hope we can tell why magnesium is always two plus. Nitrate on its own is 3 minus, so therefore you get the LCM of 6, you multiply by 3, you multiply by 3. Okay, therefore you get this formula. Okay, so yeah. Let's go on. All questions, anyone? Hmm. What is it? Okay. Okay, I think I have nothing much to say unless you have questions to ask for Thornton. Thornton, anything? D. Yeah. Or C. Double bond. Hmm, this one is tricky, very tricky. Okay, cut. Water. Water is obviously, guys, I hope you're familiar by now. Huh? Only you've seen this often enough, water comes up all the time. CO2, I mentioned earlier, double bond. In fact, two double bonds. This is called methanol. It will come up in sec four. Okay, and the structure looks like this. What? We <laughs> do do we? Okay, that is matter now. But whatever the case, you know, this single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond, single bond. Okay. Now, I think I've done this last week, but I'll just remind you guys, if you can remember my rules, where my rules are kept. Okay. These rules only apply to covalent bonds. Carbon always have four. Nitrogen 3, oxygen 2, hydrogen 1. They need this number to get that nice, stable electronic configuration. This only applies to covalent bonding. Eh? All right, so if you check this one, notice what you see. 
One carbon, how many? One, two, three, four. Oxygen, how many? One and two. Hydrogen, one, one, one. Hydrogen, one. So it satisfied my rules. The first one is number four. Yeah, what is four? Ah, you know the spelling? E-T-H-A-N-O-I-C. Mm. Good. Number four is ethanoic acid. Oh, by the way, you can ignore this for now, but you need to know this in set four. Okay, structure-wise, it looks like this. You notice a double bond here. Okay, otherwise, all the rest are single bonds. Mm. Okay, questions, anyone? We know now, we don't run. Sorry, sir, what do you say? Any questions from you girls at home? No. Mm, okay. But as I emphasized earlier, this two only come up in the set four, this one, and this one, and, and this one. Okay, so they are supposedly covered in set four, the last chapter, in which your teacher will rush you. Okay, yep. Questions? No? Okay, any questions? No, no problem. Okay, guys, I want you to complete the rest of the questions here. Only three pages.
Oh, okay. Okay, come. Let's help address this one. What is tricky here? Yeah? If Fedora, we know now if you're listening, I'll just touch on this since you can ask about this. So I don't know this. Okay, in particular, who be? This is the one that Minkin is asking about. Now, what kind of things are soluble in water, Minkin? Acrylic. Simple. Okay, water is quite tricky. Now, usually, those are soluble in water should be ionic compounds, but not all, obviously. So just remember this rule. And CS2, carbon disulfide, I think you should realize, is it an ionic compound? The many way they mentioned here. Okay, it's a covalent compound. So therefore, no. It's not very soluble in water. Crystal temperature is... Why? Uh-huh, okay, so does it still form solid? Yes. God, it still does, right, but, but at room temperature? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, oh, the two of you at home, I hope you're listening. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about this part because these are very fundamental. Is it a crystallized solid at room temperature? Now, as Ming Tin rightly, rightly pointed out, it is it has low boiling point. So is it true? True, right? So the first one is true. Since it has low boiling point, guys, make sure you can infer that it is probably a gas or maybe at most a liquid at room temperature. Okay, so don't expect it to be a solid, therefore it's false. Since well linking, since you already gone through three of them, how about the last one? The electrical conductivity? No. No false. False, huh? Okay. Let me emphasize it is a covalent constant. Covalent compounds do not conduct electricity unless they have very special characteristics like graphite. But just to let me add something, uh, just be very careful when it comes to solubility in water. There is no single rule that uh, governs everything. Uh. I hope you revise. What's a, what's a covalent compound that's very soluble in water? Remember this guy? Now, obviously, NH3 is a covalent compound, but it is still very soluble in water. So, um, it's quite tricky, solubility in water. There are quite a few different rules governing them. As for ammonia, no need to know the reason. That is for A level. Just a reminder to everyone for ionic compounds, you still have to check your solubility rules, which I emphasize a lot on. Make sure you can remember all the six rules.
Okay, for all the rest, I mean, all of you, um, there's, I want to just touch on one word. Question 3a. There's this, in the table, there's this term called saturated hydrocarbon. Uh, it's supposed to be covered in set 4, but I will just give you a few notes about this. Now, what is a hydrocarbon? It's a compound with only hydrogen and carbon. Okay, nothing else, no other elements, only two elements in different combinations. Now, the other word is saturated. Now, saturated means it only has single covalent bonds. No double bond, no triple bond. But of course, you don't to remember this now. It's okay. It's is true. Is it true? I don't know what confines this again. <laughs> Does this look like carbon and hydrogen? No. Okay. Oh, okay, what's meant by hydrogen? Uh, you need to gain electron. Oh, no, just the word hydrogen. What does hydrogen mean? I think this one you really have to know. Oh, so you, uh, meeting is asking about hydrogen compound. Go look at your periodic table. Where are your hydrogens? No, a topic. Hydrogens refer to group seven elements. You remember that word? Uh, it can come out. All the group seven elements are, are classified as halogens. Mm -hmm. So does that compound contain a halogen? Any one of the halogen? Does this thingy here that you yeah. see, does it, do you think it contains a halogen? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes, uh, it does. Mm -hmm. Hel okay, halogen is in group 17. I mean, the O, o format is group 7. 17 mm -hmm. means it has 7? Seven? 7 valence electrons. Uh, does any atom there has 7 valence electrons? Yes. Yes, right. Okay, so it's counted as a halogen compound. Oops. Uh, please, everyone ought to know the word halogen. Okay, uh, can I just digress for a moment? Link to the word halogen is the word halide. Can you remember what's halide? Halide is the uh, halogen ion. So, therefore, you have. Chloride, minus chloride, bromide, iodine, and acetate. They are all called halides. You may see that word as well. CO2 is covalent, right? CO2, yes, definitely. Okay. Is there a metal inside? No. Eight, six. Okay, got to revise on this one. No, I didn't decide this topic. You are not very strong in this one. C six four.
is it telling us to show a quotation dot and cross diagram again? Yes. Dot and cross diagram is confirmed coming out, just that you don't know what confirm is coming out. But we draw here. So you draw already, yeah? Here, draw already. Oh, okay, well, then you can say refer to the question. <laughs> Um, what if they say show of the electron that I gave like oh we didn't cannot okay here. Unless they didn't say. For for fear rights like this, like this, like this, or this. I think it depends on how strict your school is, man. You mean like north, south, east, or something like that? Yes. Yeah. You see, normally, uh, for this kind, actually, it doesn't matter. Normally, schools will still still not be correct. Right? Really, it looks wrong. I think it's something like that. What What is missing? Hmm? Yeah, yeah, it's wrong. But something is missing, right? What is missing? Hmm. Your answers should look like missing. Yeah, I know. This thing looks weird. No, this this this, this is not missing. Why? I thought we shared then no more one. So but those that are not shared are still there in the valence valence shell. The BR is two eight 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 one. Mm-hmm. Those eight 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 one BR eh? BR check where's BR? Thirty five. Yeah, thirty five is what? No, no. It doesn't work already. You know why? You can't use that rule anymore. It's, you only know that for BR, outermost is 7. But you can't use that rule 2888 anymore. Oh, no wonder. Yeah. The only rule you follow is it has 7. Because something else will come in which is not covered in both levels. 7. Mm -hmm. So it's 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just yeah. try to remember that. <clears throat> Don't go and add two eight 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 eight. Yeah. 
Oh. Okay, Fedora, Minona, any questions so far? No. Oh, great. Fedora? Yeah. Oh, not sure. No one, okay. Okay. Oh, are the two of you at home done with the questions? No. Oh, all right. Never mind, in case I give you something to do. Okay. The rest? Nothing? No, no problems at all, the rest? Mm. Oh, okay, so yeah, not too bad. No, I'm done right at this topic. Uh, Maybe you can give me more of the old topics of the chemistry. Those last slide or that curriculum was already remember it. Yeah. Okay, you can go through them soon. Yeah. No, I'm testing next week. Yeah, what to do, you wanna? Then give me the worksheet. Yeah, I see that. I got any uh, this topic. Yeah, I know. Some of the things are not too clear. Yeah, we are talking about physics, right? There's this wave thing they ask us when it's at this point, right? When the wave move from left to right, then they ask you, like, uh, what will happen if what will happen to the particles at this point? So will it move up or down? That one I still don't understand. Transfer wave. Sound wave. Something. No, no, no. Slide. It's like I don't know. It's just more of the wave question that I don't remember. Oh no. Oh, so today I was like, like that this one. Yes, then you draw this way, then it says something like this, like this. So at this point, where will the where will it be after the wave? So it say like you draw a new one. This so it moved up technically. Technically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Looking for physics. Uh, okay, the two of you at home, huh? once you're done, let me know. Huh? I just discuss something we've been thinking first. So let's say the first your point is where I say. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So this guy is moving from left to right, huh? right? Yeah. So what happens next? This is 
what kind of graph is this? Displacement time or uh, displacement distance? This kind of graph can only be displacement distance. Huh? What? Why? Because particles move moving. Because it is time. Okay, actually, it's, okay, okay. Let's let's put a displacement uh, distance. Time is going to be a bit more complicated. Okay. So that means this is at time. The current time, time zero, let's say. Okay, time zero. Huh? So, what happened to my wave? My wave is going to go fry that, correct? Yes. Correct. So, what happens to my spot? Increase. Yeah, it's moving up, up, up. So, this guy will be up. Oh, up, that's up, what they mean. All the way up and then go down, down, down. That is how you visualize it. They should give me a computer to do this. Yeah, they should. But you would. <laughs> you would. Then, 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 like, they got asked, like, why is it, like, is it not accurate for the sounding? Where was a horn not used? That one, the long. Yes, the usual reasons basically is human reaction time is too long. You need time to start and stop, pressing time, reaction time, you need to hear, then you stop. And then the time of the sound is so fast, that means your reaction time is almost is very significant. No? Because if the sound takes only one second to travel and your reaction time is 0.5 seconds, that means your error is very significant. And then virtual graph, right? The virtual graph is only when images in in front of the converging lens for its image is formed before the converging lens is it virtual yeah virtual uh on the same side as the object okay and then uh when it's virtual means it's either on the focal length or in front of the focal length the object is it in front or mm. like what's the converging lens in between converging lens and focal length Object is there means okay, that. Okay. I also okay. How, how does it work? Okay, wait, I don't understand. Because then I was doing, I was looking through the textbook, right? And then I saw that one, and it's like, usually because like, it's either on the focal length, then it is you infinity, infinity, what, way, I don't know, I forgot what it is. And then the other one that is in front of the focal length is from behind the object or something. Yeah, 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 one is either, either behind or so they only test me two. If you're all together, you're only in six. Yeah, but I'm, I'm worried about that one because we need to draw and then we need to see. Yeah, yeah that one is scary. Because six is actually quite a lot. <laughs> Even though I say only, yeah, but it's quite a lot. Because like, there's properties and then you need to memorize the the applications. Oh, oh yeah. God. But only three properties. Right? Yeah, but I can't remember the virtual one. I keep forgetting virtual is upright. Is it like all virtual is magnified? Not all the time. Huh? Oh my god. Um, Are they trying to kill me? Can I skip some question? Why am I so fast? Did you skip any? No. By the way, I, I, I drew like in, in, in the, uh, I didn't see the outer shells that I draw already. I did it erase, so, so I can erase that. It's the inside anyways. No, this is one WA, right? For chemistry, right? They didn't teach us how to draw the proton and neutron inside one. Hmm. Where you write the proton and number of neutron inside. They didn't teach us. So I was, I didn't know how to do it. I just, I just guess. And guess what? I got better result for that exam than WH3. How? You are smart, no problem. Ah, uh, sure. Uh, uh, we know now, Fedora, I assume you're still working on the questions because I don't see your face anymore. That's true. Because I have to flip to the, I have to go to the telegram, then I'm using my phone. So when mm -hmm. I go out. This is on Monday, and I haven't started studying.
okay, but uh, just drop me a message or, or uh, open up your mic once you're done. Right? People are using that. Ooh. The, the, the network right now, the sign is quite small. I think it's probably Chloe or. Uh, yeah, probably us, she won't. She's very hardworking, eh? Chloe. Chloe and her. Oh, is it? Because they're very hardworking, eh? They already started studying, and I probably like, haven't started yet. So. Okay, la, maybe you're smart, so don't need to study. No, I need two. <laughs> there are only six scenarios, actually. No, not exactly. Yeah, but yeah, correct. Both are making fun. Mm. You know, for the inverted, you know, the mm. inverted and large and diminish, I didn't memorize because. Just anyway, they will let us draw before they attest us what is the properties. So I might as well just look and see the if for increase or decrease and don't remember. Draw or as in, in the exam they ask you to draw. Because just say the syllabus change and they don't they don't they won't just test you the properties. They just draw then test you. But I should just gonna test this for this in you know, because he emphasized oh. this. <laughs> so I'm gonna realize for this. I think it's better than this. Yeah, okay, good. I think they'll be rising before tomorrow's tuition. You mean what? I think they'll be rising before tomorrow's tuition. Oh, I hope so, because if they have questions, better ask one. If you're not, oh, good luck. I, I looked through my notes and I find very really complicating stuff. Huh? 46. Okay, not actually very complicated, but I guess maybe I still don't really understand the concept. What? Uh, I don't know. Uh, did they say your exam is just coming around the corner? Monday. Okay. Everything so, right? No, just draw. Okay, they come. And then... Well, you know there's the lens, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, the image must draw downwards one, right? Downwards one, downwards. The arrow like that. that. Uh, it depends. Uh, sometimes some questions are quite tricky. It won't be so obvious. So anyway, then you draw in the silly things like S and do F. Okay, I, don't know, like, I won't be labeling. You should know F and do F. So finish reading. Oh, okay, great. Come, let's go through the answers. I'll go through it later. Okay, let's see. Ah, okay, this one, CO2 and O2. Now, guys, you better get full class for this. Uh, I think I emphasized quite a few times. All right. And the only one outer shells. Uh. So please check your answers. See. Make sure you really have double points there. This is normally how I do, but of course you can read any way you want. All right. Make sure you have your dog, dog, cross, cross, dog, cross, dog, cross, dog, dog. Shall So whenever you draw this one, right, then in the middle, mm. there's there should always still be electrons, but you cannot share all with it. Okay, guys, uh, question from Ming Ting. Now, what she did was, she went to draw... Oh, no, I thought... Oh, what a difference. She has some leftover electrons here on the carbon. Now, it doesn't work that way for carbon because carbon wants to achieve eight electrons in the valence shell. So, therefore, carbon has to need to have two double bonds. Okay. Let me repeat my rule. If I draw it up like this, uh, 
I repeat, carbon, give me a moment now. Carbon needs to have mm -hmm. four bonds, right? Carbon needs to have four bonds, right? So that is why if I draw it like this, it's perfectly correct. I have all four bonds then. And look at oxygen. Oxygen needs two bonds, right? So therefore, this is my correct version. And based on this version, I translate to the dot and cross diagram. So carbon has no leftover electrons. Uh, it, it wants to achieve this eight. Uh, four plus four eight. Uh, it cannot have leftover electrons. But some elements obviously do have leftover electrons, but not carbon. So this exception. This is not exception, this is common. Huh? <laughs> okay. Now, as for oxygen, again, uh, just quickly drawing up. You really need to revise. <laughs> so oxygen, I think I mentioned earlier, it looks like this. This is the short version. Since there are two double bonds, I repeat, one double bond, two electrons. So two double bonds, four electrons in the overlap region. And in this case, mm -hmm. oxygen will have electrons in the outer shell, unpaired electrons. I'm not too sure. Okay, let's go on. So likewise for carbon disulfide, show the outer shell electrons only. Actually, it's exactly the same. <clears throat> yep. So it's actually C double bond. Yes. Okay. So need me to show it should be very similar. In fact, it's the same here. It's the same. It's very similar to CO2. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, exactly the same as CO2. Okay, I shall move on. Unless someone has questions. So this one I've gone through already. Okay, let me move on. <coughs> Yeah. Now, this one, just be careful. I mean, it's a common mistake, but please don't be one of those students. This is an ionic compound. So, yeah, your dot cross diagram should have no overlaps. Therefore, you have to draw each individual atom or ion. Make sure you have your square brackets or over brackets, depending how you are taught. Right, so basically the outer shell is all gone. You only have the next shell. Okay, likewise for sulfide. Is it only halogens got seven or balance that? Yeah. Only halogens. Mm -hmm. No, big note. Make sure your sulfide has two dots huh? or at least two electrons for magnesium. Huh? Don't go and draw everything the same or all crosses. Huh? These are small things, but your teacher will look for that. Okay, make sure you have two dots or, or whatever electrons you use to represent magnesium. Okay, this one I think I did go through. Uh, guys, I repeat, make sure you recognize the word halogen and halide. Halide is the ion. Halogen is the element or the molecule. Okay, it refers to group 17. You have to know that term halogen. Mm, okay, is it a saturated hydrocarbon? Okay, by the way, guys, I hope you notice how many valence electrons. Two, four, six, seven. All right, so that makes this guy a halogen bond because it has seven valence electrons. 
Now, likewise, I look at the central atom. How many does it have? One, two, three, four, five. So the central atom has five valence electrons. And what can it be? Well, it's either nitrogen or or something else. These two will be the common ones. Okay, so it's always good to establish what it is. Halogen. Uh, Group 15. That's right, group 15. Okay, is it a saturated hydrocarbon? You know now? Sure, what's your question again? Oh, this one here. Is this a saturated hydrocarbon? No. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, you are right, boss. There's no hydrogen, there's no carbon at all. It could be ammonia. Well, of course not. There's no hydrogen. It's a halogen or group sign. It's an ionic compound? No way. Uh, all three of you, make sure you notice the overlap. 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 Yeah. That means it's a covalent compound. All right, so fast. Yeah, you, you, I, I really hope all you got this two marks. Ah, uh, yes, okay, two marks. Uh. Uh, maybe because I got help. Uh, they asked for CO2 again, so I won't show this. I mean, I've already drawn CO2 just now. Oh, by the way, in case you haven't realized, CO2 is super common to be asked in the exam. If you do it wrongly, I don't know. I, I I really don't know what to say. Please remember CO2. Okay. First try bromide covalent. Um, blah blah blah. Stop and cross. Okay, come guys. Guess what? I'm not going to draw this because it looks like this. This is your answer. <laughs> okay. This easily can. As I said, central atom is phosphorus. And remember, halogen, halogen includes bromide or bromine. All right, so yeah, basically, phosphorus trigonide looks exactly like this. Now, but of course, meeting asked a question earlier do you need to draw in this manner? Can I draw in another orientation? Well, answer is yes. I mean, unless your examiner is that crazy. Yeah, of course, you can draw like this. E here, E R here, E R here, E R here. I, I don't see anything wrong in doing this. All right, as long as you show your two unbonded electrons over that side. Yeah, nothing wrong. You can. You can definitely turn this around any way you want. All right. You want to draw like that. Or oh, keep on turning, then like that also can. If your teacher marks you wrong, please scream at her. Yeah, anything. Yeah, upside down. No problem. Okay. Lastly, part B. Now, maintain how your answer for part B. Er3 plus 3H2O plus H3PO3 plus 3HPPR. Okay, one other product again. Um, H3PO3. H3PO3 plus 3HPR. 3HPR. Hmm. Okay, let me double check now. I can't get those. It looks good. Okay, uh, the two of you at home, do you manage to get this equation? You, you should know. If not, better voice up now. Vinona, Fedora, do you get this equation? Yes, no? Yes. Yes, uh, okay. Vinona, do you get it? Okay, I think it's almost time. 
Do you have any, anyone has any final questions? No? Okay. okay. All right. If not, then that's all for today. So I'll see you guys next week. Bye. Oh, is there exam? No, is there a is there tuition on December or holidays? December.